In this video, we're going to go over configuring our gallery. I notice here it says no photos, add some. Well, this is an option. You could go ahead and do that. However, there's some things that you should do first. So first, let's go over to admin and we'll go to the admin dashboard. Okay, so I have to re-enter the authenticate here. If you haven't been signed in for a while, it's going to make you sign back in. Okay, so it gives you some instructions here. Choose your graphics and language settings. So let's go to the graphic settings. And you'll see here that it'll get the tools that you have installed on your server for optimizing your graphics. So you need to choose one of these. So we have the Active Toolkit, which is Image Magic on, in my case. And there's another available tool, toolkit called the GD Graphics. Yours may look different depending on your server. Okay, so we're okay as far as this is concerned. We have our graphics software installed and ready to go. Okay, so back to the dashboard. Okay, so now we can change the language settings if you don't want to use the default language. And as you see, there are many languages you can choose from in here. There's also translation utility. Okay, so back to the dashboard. The next thing, we can choose a theme or customize the way it looks. Okay, let's go to appearance and choose a theme. Now we have the admin theme over here. This is for the back end, and we have the gallery themes over here. We can also go and download themes here. So if we go to download themes, we can choose a new theme. Now for whatever reason, it took us to modules here, so it seems to be a uh, link that isn't going to the right place. So if we go to development, and then you look for your gallery version over here, you'll see where we can find themes. So if we click on themes now, and then if we click here, it takes us to the themes page. So it's a little bit of a roundabout way to get here. Okay, but we have different themes in here. So you see, you can see the name of them here. And if you want to install one, all you have to do is download it and then upload it into the themes directory. Let's click on this one. And then, there's no screenshot here. Let's try and find one with this screenshot. Okay, so here's one with a screenshot. Shows you the design of the gallery. And it tells you if there's any issues. It says it's not working 100% with IE and no support for comments. So you need to watch out for things like that. Now, let's just go and download one so that you can see how it works. Okay, so this one seems to be working okay. So let's download one of these and install it so you can see how it works. Okay, so it'll tell you where to download. It says they're going to be different. They may be hosted anywhere. But here's the theme. So let's download this. And let's save it. Okay, so now we're going to unzip this. Okay, now what we need to do is go to FileZilla. Okay, so here we are now on the left side here. We're going to navigate to where our folder is. And then we're going to go inside here. And we need to upload the folder that's inside here. See, inside here are the files. But we need to download the directory above the files, which is the second directory in. Okay, so we have default carbonized slash zero, and inside that we have default carbonized. This is the one we need to upload. Now, on our gallery side, we need to upload it into themes. So upload. Let those all get up there. Then we go back to our site. And then we're going to go to appearance and theme choices. And you'll see now that it appears in here. So if we wanted to, at this point, we could activate the new theme. Let's click on it. It gives us a theme preview. 
Okay, and then we can activate it right here if we want to use it. I'm not going to use this one, I just wanted to demonstrate that for you. Okay, now let's talk about modules. To add a module, you can just click, you can power up your gallery by adding more modules and it takes us to the modules page here. Okay, so let's install one of these modules just so you can see how they install. Let's go to under photo text. So what we do is we click on this and then we're going to download it. it. Tells you what it does here first of all. So what we do is we download the module and we're going to download it to our desktop or wherever you want and then we're going to unzip it. Okay, so let's extract this now. Okay, so here is the folder. Now, what we want to do is upload this folder that contains the files into the modules folder. Now, you notice we don't we don't install the outer folder. We're going to install the inner folder. Okay, so let's open up FileZilla again. Okay, so here it is on our side, and we're going to get the inner folder and then we connect over here just like before and then we go into the modules folder okay and then we're going to upload this okay so that's how you install a module now if we go back here okay and it'll show up in here here it is under photo text so if we wanted to activate it, we would just check here and click update. Okay, so that's how you install any other modules you want, and that's how you turn them on as well, is from in here. Okay, so that's modules. Now let's go back to the dashboard, and then what we're going to do is we're going to customize the way it looks here. Okay, so here we can have the items per page, thumbnail size and pixels, Resize image size and pixels. The path to our favorite icon. So we can put in a custom favicon.ico if you create one into the images library under lib. I'll show you here. So under lib and then images. So in here we have a default fav icon. You can create one. There is software that you can use. It's free on the internet to upload a file of a photo and then you can create a favorite icon for it. So if you want to do that, this is where you can do it. Okay, now here we have any header text we want, any footer text we want here. Whether you want to show the credits, this is the powered by gallery link so we can turn that off if we want so in in here let's put under header text test gallery and here we'll put footer test okay, let's save okay now when we go back to our gallery there is our header text and here's our footer text. So you can customize that so that it looks the way you want. Now notice when we did that that the image disappeared from up here. Our header image for our logo. Let's go back again here. So let's just take this out of here. Let's take the header out just for a second here. Save. And when we go back now you see that the gallery header image is back here our logo now remember when we were in the filezilla you see this is where our fav icon, fav, favorite icon is in gallery lib images you see here logo.png this is the file that we can replace to change our logo on our gallery if we want to create a custom logo 
we can upload it right to there and call it and call it logo and make sure it's a PNG extension and it's going to appear up here for us. Now you can also use HTML in the header and footer. You go to admin appearance and theme options again. Let's change the footer text here and give it HTML tags here. So this will make the footer text bigger. This is just a basic HTML tag. Now if we go back here look at our gallery again you'll see that it has increased the font size okay so the header and footer are fully html enabled so you can put links down in the bottom if you want or whatever you want down here using html and same with at the top now if you're going to customize the image at the top here you need to make sure that you make the image the same size before you replace it so let's go through the process of changing the image size the image that's for the gallery here. Okay, so right click on it and then we're going to view image info. Now remember that depending on the theme, these images can be all different sizes. So we need 107 pixels by 48. So if you're going to create a new one, create one 107 by 48 in PNG format. And you're going to need to name it logo with a PNG format. Okay, so logo.png. So I'm just going to create a quick one. Uh, you can create your own or have one created it's up to you, but I'm just going to create a quick one to demonstrate how we change it. Okay, so I just created a quick one here, logo.png. When we open this, there's what it looks like there. Okay, so let's upload that. Again, we go back here. Let's find our logo, and then we're going to upload it into gallery lib images for whichever theme you're using let's upload and overwrite now when we go back to our site and refresh there it is okay so that's how you customize the image now a couple other things you can change the sidebar here so we go to admin and then we go to appearance and we can manage the sidebar Okay, so these are the active blocks on the sidebar, the language preferences, metadata, available RSS feeds, and popular tags. So if you want to take any of them out, you just move them over to available blocks. And if you've installed more blocks, then you can copy them over here. Now the blocks will be in the modules section. Somebody may have created modules for more blocks. Okay, so that's how you can use the sidebar. Now, if we go back to the dashboard, see on the right hand side here, it has available blocks. We have another block called recent comments. We can add it to the center or we can add it to the sidebar. So if you want to add the recent comments, this is where you can do it. Okay, now most of the rest of this has to do with setting up the content on our site. The other thing we have here is users and groups. You can set up user groups in here if you want. You have everybody, admin and guest, but you can create other user groups if you want. For instance, you can create a user group called family. You can move people into the family user group and then you can restrict content to that user group. Okay, so that's about it for configuration. In the next video, we're gonna talk about adding our content.